第二十五对表演的题目是 The Greatest Dreamer， 计时开始。Bow. Hello, everyone. Xin chào, everybody. Xin chào. Today I'll teach you some Vietnamese everyday daily expressions. When you accidentally hit someone, you can say Xin lỗi. It meaning is sorry. Repeat after me. Xin lỗi. What about thank you in the Vietnamese? Does anyone know? Ah, oh, pin me, pin me, pin me, pin me. It's lame, ah, uh, right? Hey, of course not. Well, do you know how to say it? Uh, I don't know. Fine. A bunch of idiots. The answer is gambit. That's right. But what's your word? Xin lỗi. Before taking a break. I want to know why you chose this course. Ah, let me first, because I have a dream. I want to teach Vienna after learning Vietnamese. By doing so, they can not only learn our language, but also realize our culture. You can consider an exchange student program and try their teaching in Ireland. Huh? Exchange students? That's right. When it comes to exchange students, there are many programs in Chinese universities. For example, many Chinese universities have partnership with schools in Southeast Asia. In addition to enjoying the resource of the school, there are opportunities to intern and companies there. Mm, there are so many resources in our country. The New South Wales policy promoted by the government is broadening the horizons of the new generation of students. Let students see more progress in the world. In order to move to a global stage, we must strive hard. Wow, being a student is really happy. Wa ha ha ha! I also want to make the Vietnamese happier, so I want to start a business there, opening a most Taiwan-oriented pure milk tea shop and Taiwan distinctive popcorn chicken, so that Vietnamese are able to enjoy Taiwan-oriented food. Great! I like those gourmet food too. On the street and in the night market in Taiwan, we can often see the appearance of Southeast Asia cuisine. The idea of bringing Thai food to Vietnam is really good. Right. When they taste my food, they will surely learn the name of Taiwan and across spread the world. Moreover, Vietnamese consuming ability is very powerful. Taiwan is much more conservative compared to them. So Chinese snacks will be sold pretty well as long as they are loved by Vietnamese. When it comes to sales in Vietnam, my uncle sells cosmetics, which made in Taiwan to Vietnam. He hopes that more foreigners will know Taiwan. I think it is really cool to communicate internationally through marketing brands and the food culture. Payers and the logistics can carry out the idea of international exchange. Finally, Bella, tell us your dream. I have a dream of being a tour guide because I love to travel, and you know, I can take Taiwanese to go Vienna to go sightseeing. All Vietnam is to come to Taiwan to travel. That is, learning another language is also getting an advantage for myself. In addition to the Vietnamese language, we must have sufficient knowledge about Vietnamese eating habits. Hmm. Ah, let me ask you a question. Hmm? Do you know what local architectural features of Vienna are? Of course. Vienna was occupied by the French at the end of the 19th century, so there are many French-style buildings in the Vietnamese city. And Vienna is also considered to be the most European-style country in the Indochina. Wow, bingo, bingo! You have already prepared. I feel that people with dreams are particularly deadly. I hope that you can always keep this initial heart and move toward your dream. Although leaving home is a very difficult thing, Taiwan is going to international stage because of you. I hope that we can all realize our dream and then have our own achievement in Vienna. Okay, time is almost up. We should take a break. Oh, oh yes. Stand up. Bow. Thank you, everyone.
第二十六对表演的题目是 New Generation, New Sight, New Innovation。计时开始。Take shelter in your house. I saw many Chinese being captured by Indonesians. It looks like the Indonesians are raging and fighting against the Chinese. Hope you will be settled as soon as possible, Sammy. I heard that you're hungry. Here's some fried fish skin. This is the only thing I grabbed when I escaped. That's so nice. We were running out of food. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're welcome. In 1998, an anti-Chinese riot happened in Indonesia. Many Chinese people were killed by the mobs. No, the incident was left trauma in the hearts of billions of people. Time passes. Sammy comes to study abroad in Taiwan. Oh. Why Sammy is so late again? Oh, Daddy is always late. Oh, Why? My. Oh, sorry, I'm late. Hey. Hello, oh, Sammy. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hey. So, I'm curious, Tommy. Why did you come to study abroad in Taiwan rather than in Singapore, your hometown? Because Taiwanese government offers scholarship for Southeast Asians, like Sammy, came all over from Indonesia to study in Taiwan. That's right! Oh gosh! This is incredibly delicious! What's the yellow bell strand? Oh, it's called salted yolk. It is commonly used in local Taiwanese cuisines. Hmm, I think fried salted yolk with fish skin, would taste good. What? Fish skin and salted yolk? Why fish skin? It reminds me of my childhood. When the 1990 rice truck, my mom and I were terrified with no food to eat. Our neighbor gave us fried fish skin, which was the only thing we had. It meant a lot to us. So you must have hated the Indonesians because they were so mean to you. Well, not really. History is already a thing of the past. We have to move on. Hey, Sammy, what about selling fried fish skin with salted egg yolk in other Southeast Asian countries? Sounds great! the spirit of our product, which is harmony in race and taste. That's really well said. What about harmony's next step? We are preparing to expand our business to Indonesia, Sammy's hometown. Also, we'll contribute 2% of our business revenue to support female entrepreneurs there, and also promote gender equality and reduce inequality. We also want to work on issues in factory farming and only use sustainable cage-free egg and wild-caught fish. We want to protect the planet on land and below water. We hope more women could be educated and sponsored to start their business like Sammy. 
I wish you all the best on your business expansion. Let's look forward to how these young people mark a new era in Southeast Asian history. This is Coco reporting live in Taiwan. Thank you for watching. The Taiwan Number One. Hello, this is Helen speaking. Could I ask who's calling? Hi, Helen. This is Billy. John and Tan are at my home waiting for you to hold a birthday party for you. Could you come over? Wow, I'm very grateful for your invitation. I'll be there soon. Helen is coming. Let's get ready. Ding dong. Hello, Helen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Helen. Happy birthday to you. So surprised. Thank you very much. We prepared some gifts for you. They are all made in Taiwan. We believe you will like them. Oh, I like MIT product very much. Please have a look what product they are. This is Taiwan Green Property which adjusts body to enhance physical strength. These are handmade necklaces and embossed patent pencil case. Open it. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Wow, how beautiful. I like it. Thanks a lot. These are lotions and soap made by Tai Yan. Tai Yan? Cosmetics from Tai Yan Industrial Connectivity can make you beautiful and healthy. Oh, it's very kind of you all. Thank you very much. I'm very happy. We also have something special for you. You are from Thailand, so we prepared some Taiwanese food instead of birthday cake. Look, there are oolong tea, wukong coffee, frozen juice wine, pig food lye, pork bao, pig black cake, Apple milk tea, tea eggs, oyst omelet, stinking tofu. I've eaten stinking tofu. It tastes a lot better than it smells. <laughs> this is oolong tea. Have a cup of tea. Thanks. Happy birthday! Thanks! Nice, nice tea. tea! After graduation, in response to the government's sovereign policy and a new model of economic development, I will go to Indonesia to co-found an e-commerce company with local Indonesia friends. Wow! wow great. great! My father runs a textile factory in Minan. We'll go there to start from the grassroots in order to inherit my family business in the future. Good plan. How about going to 101 after lunch? I've been there. It's a tourist building in Taiwan. I prefer to go outdoors. I know Taiwan has many natural scenic spots like Yangmin Mountain, Ulai, and Song Moon Lake. How about going to Yangmin Mountain next Saturday? Why, Why not? not? Wow! Taiwan number one! I love Taiwan! Thank you! The 28th表演的题目是 The new generation, the best we are. Let's start! Contribute 
what you learn. Me? Yeah. Wow. I think it's kind of about myself. Just like a famous talk show host suddenly become a president. Yes. And also, I can use what I learned to help those who are in need. Yeah. Hey, Fanny. Yeah? You just got a PhD in biotechnology, right? Yes. You can come with us. Oh, that's just awesome. Let's talk about our plan. Okay, okay. Wonder Back, a new design to shape the future. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. 
today. It will be official revolt. This product has three pioneering characteristics. First, wireless charging. Second, eco-friendly material. Third, Aboriginal totems. We are calling it X-Bag. This idea comes from exhausting rejoicing experience. Hi, Reza. I'm your buddy in Taiwan. Just feel free to chat with me. Wow, that's so kind of you. According to my research, Taiwan is a country for energy and creativity. That's why I choose Taiwan as my first country to explore. Hey, Calista. Hi, I'm Calista. Um, how about your buddy? Olivia, nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you too, Olivia. Can you tell me anything special in Taiwan? Hey, Calista. According to my research, we can go to a culture and creative park. It is a good place we can browse some Taiwanese crafts. Yay! 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 Everything here is so amazing. I must take a trip to Taiwan again with my family. Wait, why is there a panel on your back? You mean this? It's a solar panel. It provides power for the wireless charging. It's a combination of green energy and high technology. I have heard that Taiwan is working on the development of solar power technology. According to my research, Taiwan and Vietnam exchange ideas with their creativity and resources with each other. Hope one day the solar power can be used widely. Oh my god, my phone battery is low than 5%. I can't take picture now. Don't worry, if your smartphone is dead, what I need to do is put it into a pocket like this. Can we have bubble milk tea now? According to my research, the best bubble milk tea had 23 bubbles in it. Hey, did you really charge my phone? I just saw you throw in the bag. <sighs> Fully charged! Wow, that's so cool! I can't imagine that a phone can be charged wirelessly. And because of the exchange of information, the relation between Taiwan and Vietnam become closer and closer. According to my research, the location of a member in New South Bank policy are for sunshine. We can promote it to others country too. Hey, hey, Wendy, can I have a bag like that? I would like to bring it as a souvenir for my family. Are you sure? It's ugly. But I can earn some money from it. No, we, we can. But it's ugly. Don't worry. Functionality times fashion equals money, money, money. <coughs> it is made from the clouds, which contains our technology and recycled bottles from Vietnam and Taiwan. It's an eco-friendly product for me, who loves the two cultures. Also, with this opportunity, it is a good chance for the team to make a design by combining the elements and technology from Vietnam and Taiwan. Do you try it? Yay! Thanks to the experience of traveling Taiwan, it is me a evening backpack with a functional charging smartphone and a totems. Then I start my own brands of backpacks. The intensive flight schedule between Taiwan and Vietnam gives us a chance to build our own business. We really appreciate the new Southbound policy.
。第三十对表演的题目是 Taiwan ASEAN Squats Jamboree， 计时开始。Countries and cultures. You know, it's funny if the things we thought were true about one another. For example, I thought people from Vietnam all wore large hats and rode bikes everywhere, but that's not true. <laughs> well, some of us do, but most do not. And I admit, I didn't know that Taiwan had such a large population of Aboriginal people living here. Yeah, there are actually 16 tribes living throughout Taiwan. They are important parts of our culture and identity. I also admit I didn't know that much of Muslim practices in Indonesia, like how you eat and pray. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. And I was so surprised how Taiwan has become such a Muslim-friendly tourist destination. As is my country in Singapore. Like Taiwan, we try to accommodate all religions and practices as being part of the world community. You know, I think none of this would have been possible had it not been for the New South Bond policy, which finally allowed Taiwan to host this year's jamboree. Yeah, it's nice to have this open up policy between our countries to share and learn from one another. You know, many of my people got scholarships to study in Taiwan because of it. Mine too, but not only just studying. My dad says that because of the New South Bond policy. There has been greater business opportunities for me, especially because of the visa-free entries. Working together as a community of countries is beneficial for all. I wish the whole world would do this. It will definitely be a happier place. I agree. What's important is moments like these. Talking to each other, building lasting relationships is what the world needs. What I need now is dinner. Is the water boiled yet? Let me check. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Hmm. Hey, so what are we eating anyway? Well, since this is our last night, I think it would be great to give you a very special Taiwanese treat. Oh, please don't say stinky tofu. What? what? Stinky tofu is delicious. But no. Way better than that. We're having homey. Yes. yes. Right. Here you go. Catch it. And knowing that in your country you don't eat pork, so I got chicken flavor for you. Haha, <laughs> so sweet. Guys, let's take a picture together to remember this time. Sure. sure. Three, two, one. Say cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. cool, cool. Great. I think the fire needs more wood. I'll go get some. I'll help you. Don't be too late. The water is almost boiled. Don't worry. We're way too hungry to stay away long. I'll keep the fire going. Hey, Grace. Do you see anything yet? Uh, it's not dark enough to see much. Oh my God! No What's way! It? Can you it? come here? What's is it? that what I think it is? Let me see. Ah, oh. it's an international space station. That's so Whoa. cool. Now that's a good example of what happens when countries really work together. Hey, I got an idea. Let's send that group shot of us to them. They have a website that people can send messages. That's a good idea. I wonder if they'll actually see it. Commander, we have just 
receive a fun photo from a Taiwan International Scouting Jamboree happening right now. That's interesting. I'll put it on the big screen. Greeting from Taiwan World Scout Jamboree. That's cool. I was a scout when I was a kid. Really? Me too. It is nice seeing the world. Becoming, Becoming more as one. Three, two, one. Thank, Thank you. you. What a solution! This must be a place, Cody! Look! It's a fair statue of Mary Thomas Spell in her mail! Yes, that's it! It would be great to see Mary again! It's been a long time since she got married and moved here to Vietnam! Thanks to the extra flights, it is much more convenient for us to visit relatives now! I hope we can also find what we need here! Dad's company is missing only a sustainable supply of collagen. Yes, that's what we need. We just haven't been able to secure a stable source of it in Taiwan. Oh. Hey, Sarah! Cody, what a nice surprise! Oh, wait. This is my Peter. You met him at a wedding. He's the head of this village now. Nice to see both of you again. Welcome. Let's get something to eat. So, how have you been? Is life in Vietnam all right? Well, as you guys know, our main industry here is fishing. But recently, we've been going through some big economic losses. Because BASA, our most valuable fixed export, has been blocked by the European markets. But you guys don't care about that. How's everything in Taiwan? Dad's biotechnology company is developing a new product but we're lacking a key material to do any test with it. The company is scrambling to fix that now. Let's not talk about business at a dinner table. Have some of the basa soup. I noticed that you haven't tried it yet, Sarah. It's quite a tasty fish. Thanks, but I ate that all planned. Eat it, so your skin will glow, just like mine does, because basa soup has a lot of collagen. Collagen? Uh, Mary, you're not gonna believe this. Dad's company has been looking for a fish containing high amounts of collagen. And I'm sure Dad will offer you a lot of money to secure a steady supply of this basa fish. Sounds like a plan. I'll contact my friend. He works in a local bio lab. He can provide some hard numbers for your father. Thank you. Da -da. Okay guys, Sarah and I are about to explain to you how we hope this program will work. Well, we are all ears. This is the original Basa. And this is what the fish skin looks like after the sterilization and washing it thoroughly. Then, we cut it into small pieces. We add acetone to a fish and dry it leaving a pure collagen residue. And we add water and some flavor to make a tasty and healthy drink. And our village will benefit from this program? Of course! We can replace our previous contracts for the European market. This will not only bring many economic benefits, but also improve the village's reputation. This is a solution to the Baza problem you have. Yeah, I mean, this is literally a bar solution. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. So, can we get things started now? Absolutely. Cody, just stop, okay? <sighs> hey, Cody, let's go tell Dad about this. Hey, maybe this plan will really work. We may even have our own fan page. Everything going. Our company's plan worked out well, so we decided to live stream this to share our story. Look at all the comments coming in. There are so many people watching our live stream. Through this, we hope that world will realize that 
Southeast Asia has the potential for biotechnology development. And our product is trending all over the internet. Guess what? Even some celebrities are hyping our new skin products. I have to say, Taiwan's new Southbound policy has also given us a big hand. It has now emphasized cooperation with poorer countries, but also provided economic subsidies for you to start new businesses. To be honest, I can't believe how well we have succeeded. The village was dying before my eyes, but now... Honey, you're full. Oops, another order coming in. <gasps> Hooray! P, partners. A, advancing. T, together in. Ace, harmony. A, a new, new path, path for our youth, a new path, path for us all. all. Thank, Thank you. you. Fighting for Taiwan's future. Hi, excuse me. It is room 205. Sure is. Thank you so much. By the way, I'm Lee from Indonesia. I'm Jesse from Philippines. And I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. So why are you in Taiwan? Oh, uh, me and Jesse are here for a conference. Oh, by the way, my name is Selena. Lee and I went to school together, and we are here as tourists. Hey, I'm starving. Do you guys want to grab some food? Sure, why not? Cool, so what's good around here? I mean, it's a bit late. Well, do you want to go to TGI Fridays? It's still open. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Cool, let's go then. been at the forefront of Taiwan's diplomatic relations, not with only our neighbor allies, but also other countries in need. In fact, this very weekend, Taiwan is hosting the 2018 Global Health Forum here in Taipei. In fact, Taiwan has continued to contribute to the global health, regardless of the fact that we have been excluded from participating in the World Health Organization. Really? What has Taiwan contributed? I don't know anything about it. Yeah. Um, Remember back in Typhoon High in 2013? Oh. Taiwan has donated $130 million to the Philippines for financial aid, food, and medical services. Taiwan has also developed the antibiotics for pneumonia. It has been developed in Taiwan and approved by the US. Also, hold on. Taiwan and mainland China are being distributed to developing countries. You know what else Taiwan has done? What? Taiwan has donated $1.7 billion to the International Health Forums. Also another $110 million for special projects such as water treatment and basically every program that impacts on public health. And the Filipinos get financial aid from Taiwan for traveling back to their homeland. That sounds really interesting. What else has Taiwan contributed? Taiwan has been influential in helping Africa in many ways. A Taiwan team was sent halfway around the world to help with a severe outbreak of malaria because of Taiwan's effort. Entire hospitals are almost vacant. In S14, almost 400 out of every 100,000 babies die every year. Beginning 2016, Taiwan partnered with Dr. H. Jia Yi Christian Hospital reduce maternal and infant mortality. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah. Is that a conference both you and Ryan are attending this weekend? Oh, yes? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's about fighting for Taiwan's right to be a part of the World Health Organization. Oh. I mean, you can see how much we've contributed to the World Health, right? Yeah. Lots. Taiwan has both expertise in public health and also information technology. And these 
These are just a very few ways that Taiwan is winning the hearts and mind of the international community. This global health conference sounds really interesting. Yeah. As a doctor, I know that Taiwan has contributed a lot to the global health community. As a scientist, I'm here to fight for Taiwan's right to continue developing new drugs, medicine, and products to the world. Maybe we should spend a day at Taiwan's Global Health Conference. Together, Together we, we can, can all fight for the future of Taiwan. The Juvenile Go Struggle. 计时开始。Good evening and welcome to CCC News. My name is Roger and I will be providing you with your news tonight. These days, the government promotes a new southbound policy to any student looking to develop and start a business in Southeast Asia. And tonight, we'll be looking at a story from a student fresh out of high school. The young man opened Dai's own restaurant in Vietnam, and due to his fantastic cooking skills, his business flourished. Now, let's take a deeper look at this young man's story. Good 
afternoon, everyone. I'm Amy. We are now at an entry in Ho Chi Minh City. I heard that this restaurant only opened for three months ago, but everybody here seems to know about it. People of all ages seem to be into the store, so it must be pretty good. We should try it out. This is NFB, so they have tell us what special flavor is it. These are all Taiwanese rice dumplings. I use Taiwan local ingredient and Vietnam unique rice with my own special sauce. I quite so many people like it. Thanks, Anna. These are comments from the reporters on the scene. And we'll turn the camera back to the anchor in the shade. Thank you, Amy. So the rice dumpling shark which come by Vietnam and Taiwan's unique flavor is widely circulated in Vietnam. And because of a new southbound policy, we are able to encourage young people to develop business in Southeast Asia. And that's the CCC News for tonight. Thanks for watching. Good night. Thank you. The is A New Southbound Policy, A New International Cooperation. It's the time of the year. Happy graduation! Eight years, eight years, man. What's your next move? I'm going back to Vietnam to practice medicine. Hopefully, we will see each other again real soon. Yeah, I'll miss you, man. You are going to be the best Taiwanese doctor. Thank you. I'm going to make my country proud. Call, call, call. Come in, please. Hi, Anne. Justin, why aren't you go to school today? I graduated. Ah, I see. Congratulations on graduating from medical school. Thank you, Anne. I saw you on a business magazine last week. You're going to Vietnam? Yes. Have you heard of the new Southbound policy? No. What's that? It is our government's latest initiative in promoting partnership with countries in Southeast Asia. And the program not only encourages trade in the business sector, but it also encourages trade in the technology, education, and healthcare. Well, this is new to me. Ah, I have a friend in Vietnam. Do you mind if I go with you next week? Not at all! Pack your bags and get ready! Shh. Whoa! We're not in Vietnam! Let's go get some coffee! I have a friend to introduce you to. He is also a doctor. Billy. Hello, this is Anne. This is Eric. Hey Anne, mind if I bring a friend along? Not at all. Bring him along. Okay, bye. Bye. <gasps> Justin, what are you doing here? Oh, Alex, I'm here on a business trip with my friend. Wow. You guys know each other? Yes, she's my classmate from our medical school. What a small world. This is Eric, Dean of ABC Hospital here in Vietnam. Nice to meet you, Justin. Nice to meet you, too. Please have a seat. Oh, thank you. So, what's good these days, Eric? Yeah, our hospital is expanding, and we are looking to send some of our brightest doctors to receive further training. But we still haven't found a hospital to partner with. Our dean is very interested in partnering with hospitals in promoting medical exchanges. Do you mind if I pass along your information to him and get you guys get connected? One of our doctors will show you how to upgrade the surgical system. And we will have a workshop on liver transplant surgery. Really? This is the best thing I have heard all day.
Vietnam's GDP is growing at a lightning speed of 6.2% per year. But only 47% of the population has access to the internet. I wonder what I can do about that. Hi, taxi! EDC, traffic will speed up. Yes, here we are. Thank you for having me. Hi, Anne. Welcome back. How's your trip in Vietnam? It is amazing. The country is beautiful, and the food tastes great there. I'm glad you enjoy it. So Anne, did you see any business opportunities you can do there? Yes, I would like to introduce ETC to Vietnam. ETC? That's amazing. My cousin works in the Ministry of Transportation. Maybe I can get you guys get connected. That is awesome. And what about you guys? Things went really well. Justin and I the many things. I'm looking forward to more of these kind of exchanges. What did I tell you about the new southbound policy? Isn't it great? Yes, cheers to the new southbound policy. Cheers! cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Good afternoon. 那在这个揭晓入围的十七组之前呢，我们就呃评审老师们稍微做一个简单的讲评，那也缓和一下大家的气氛啊、哦。那从这次的表现呢，大家呃非常的优秀。那我们评审其实，在评审当中，呃一些细微之处都要注意到，因为啊、呃、一些小小的一个成绩啊、哦，可能都会影响到你是不是有呃进入下一轮的比赛。那在这边呢？我特别就几个呃，你们表现的部分，呃，以及今天的整合的一个呃舞台上面的情况呢，做一点点讲解哈。第一个部分是我觉得大家非常不错，就是把这个呃 South Bank Policy、New South Bank Policy 呢有一个进阶的表现啊、呃。譬如说，以前可能更多的是在讲文化差异。啊、呃，文化交流、饮食、观光，或者是语言学习。但是这一次呢，我觉得呃，看到大家更多的是在，呃，像科技啦、医疗、呃，教育、志工、呃，文化、农业、环保、宗教，好、哦，那更多当然就是台湾的这个人情味啊、哦，在这个部分的探讨。那也从，呃，国际合作、啊、呃，国际交流，然后甚至还有同学延伸到呃，像这样子的一个寻根之旅。哦，都有，我觉得这个是不错的议题的一个在探讨。那故事的部分，因为毕竟是表演嘛，那所以表演这个部分，我觉得是比较重要，就是你怎么把这个议题变成一个有主题的一个故事。那在故事部分，譬如说，呃，我觉得有两大类哦、呃，就是文化差异，那同学就会想要讲，呃，透过冲突，然后理解，然后有同理心，然后互相接纳欣赏。那再来的话是。呃，两边的优劣势哦。如果说有优势的，他愿意做援助，然后愿意做合作，然后是一个呃双赢的机会哦。那再来，但是在故事的发展，我觉得呃，评审老师们觉得，同学也许在故事的连串性上面哈、哦，可以再做一点点呃更好的一个连接。有时候可能很多东西是比较片面，可能场景过多。哦，那这样可能会乱了你故事的叙述。那再来是舞台表现，舞台表现的话，走位、换位，哦，面对观众，可能这个都是一个呃舞台上面的经验的一个嗯多练习的一个部分，需要加强哦。那当然也有同学啊、呃，可能在音调、语气啊、哦，或者是嗯这次比较多组，可能在声量上面可以再多加油。呃，另外就是说，其实这样的比赛并不要求你太多的道具，那太复杂的道具其实就是不需要的啊。哦那因为你省掉了道具的移动，你有更多的时间可以来处理其他的东西，譬如说刚刚所讲的，你有更多时间来处理故事，你可以提升团队的互动。呃，小的道具其实这个成色更可以避免，那这样你可以提升你的口语表现。OK， 那最后呢，谈一下就是
呃，有些同学就是呈现这个异国文化的。表演哈，譬如说舞蹈、歌曲，那当然，我觉得在这个部分，因为主要还是在你的英语能力的表现跟故事，所以其实并不需要过长。还有就是，嗯，评审老师们也有提到，就是说场景的旁白，如果它不是很必要的，你也并不需要太多的琢磨在这个部分哈，因为在故事上面大家都应该可以看得清楚。那我觉得这一次最难的部分是在于，嗯，怎么拿捏你的。戏剧的表演跟政策的宣导，就是说你在呃了解了这个呃 policy 之后，你想要做一个转达，但是你又要有故事性的进去，所以这个故事怎么去叙述以及连接你的政策，呃，我想这个部分就是呃有有一些比例上的不同，那有些组别可能呃。在这个政策的宣导选的过多了一点点，这个是比较可惜的部分。所以就是说，在 presentation 跟 performance 啊这个部分的一个比例的拿捏啊，我想这次是比较困难的部分。那最后就是团队啊，因为毕竟这是四个人的呃合作跟演出啊。平常老师其实在这边也发现说，当然也有有时候有几位同学他的戏份是比较重的，那有些同学可能戏份稍的稍微就是稍微轻一点，那。也许未来，嗯，指导老师在这个部分可以再呃做一些调配，让大家都能够有呃共同的一个分量的演出。OK， Thank you。以上报告。接着请薛梦仁老师上台讲评。Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you very much for the uh, work you shared with us uh, this morning and into the afternoon. Uh, boy, it was challenging, uh, and it was very interesting, and we enjoyed it. Uh, the reason we're judges isn't so that we can tell the, the really good ones from the really bad ones. Anybody can do that. The fact is that we're here as judges because we have to try and make uh, choices or assess things that are so excellent it's hard to tell the difference between them. So uh, that's, that's where we are today. The, the, the work was really good. Uh, I can't, uh, I don't have the talent that you have to speak in both Chinese and English. So you're way ahead of me. So if you do not understand what I happen to be saying here, I know that your teachers who've worked very hard already will be happy. <laughs> to uh, tell you what I say, what I'm saying. What's puzzled me about this, uh, this event is that the southbound, the, the southbound policy is as much Chinese, or Taiwanese, Chinese language, as it, as it is anything else. So why are you doing this in English? What's the point? And the point, of course, is that all these countries to the south speak a kind of English, an international kind of English. And you know, you won't understand those countries' English very well unless your English is really, really good, a really high standard of international English. That's what will make this policy really stand out and work for Taiwan and work for you. And I think you can create stories around that problem. So don't ignore it make it part of the problem that you're trying to solve here. A play is not an advertisement. In fact, the southbound policy is not the content of your plays. It's the frame. It's just the frame. The southbound policy and all the things it stands for can be incidental to your plays, not the main event. The main event should be some kind of dramatic encounter that you have with another person that you look at when you're talking to them. Don't say your lines like out to the audience because when you're having a conversation with people, you don't look away, you don't look at, you look at the person you're talking to. Look at the person you're talking to. Relate to those people that you're talking to. Create one single, dramatic event that goes someplace that has a climax and a resolution. 
It's not a whole bunch of events. It's not a great big play. It's one scene. You don't need a whole lot of scene breaks. You should be able to do this straight through without stopping. Make it about your behavior. If you're going to go to a foreign country, how are you going to behave in such a way that brings respect to the people that you live with here at home so that you stand up for something really good about your home? but it's how you behave with other people that becomes really important. So you want to dramatize that. You want to show that in a story. You don't want to just create a situation where you can sit around and talk about it. So you want to create characters that have conflicts, that talk to each other to solve those conflicts, come up with solutions to things. And with that, you have this kind of structure and this structure will unify your whole play into one thing. And that one thing has a solid focus. And that solid focus leads you to your title. So that when we read the title, it's a clue to what your story is focusing on. And there's a great unity that takes us someplace, that makes us watch your play from the beginning and not take our attention away until you get to the end. You got to make us want to stay with you. Make us imagine things we wouldn't otherwise be able to imagine. That's the whole point of doing this play, doing it as a play. Um, the, uh, the content. The content is not the storyline to your play. That's only part of it. Remember, you're not up here reading to us. You're not up here just talking to us. You're up here performing something. And when you perform, the content has to be part of your thinking. So yes, it's content on the page, on the paper. Right now, my content is my, my comments to you. But if you can't see that those comments are not com coming from my mind, from my thoughts, then I'm not telling you the truth. If I'm just reading, I'm not telling you the truth. If I'm just saying my lines, I'm not telling you the truth. If I've just done what I was taught to do, I'm not telling you the truth. What makes it the truth is that you believe it right now. You really care about it right now. The same way I care about what I'm saying to you right now. So really go for that energy from here on. Um, it's in your mind. I said, how will you conduct yourselves in a foreign country? You're going to be diplomats if if you if you make this if you make the finals you, be, you become an awarded group. You're going to become diplomats, but you know, you are not what Taiwan says you're supposed to be. Yes, okay, you're going to help because Taiwan has this talent that can help. In Taiwan, what makes it great is that you are Taiwan. Taiwan is the people that live here. I'm a foreigner. I've been here a long, long time, but I'm still a foreigner. What I understand about Taiwan is not how great the agriculture is and not how great the technology is, even though it's important. What's Taiwan to me are the people, the people that, the, and the way they treat me, the way they talk to me, the respect that I get, and the kind of friendships that you develop. That's what you're taking when you go overseas. It's who you are, because who you are is what Taiwan really is. I really encourage you all to work hard. You're going to go places. You're going to do great things. So keep this, keep this effort up. And um, good luck to everybody. Thank you.
。那我现在就是我宣布的是你们的序号跟名次没有关系哈。那我现在宣布入围的第一队，序号一号。<笑>那入围的第二队序号二号、呃，第三队序号四号、啊，那入围的第四队序号七号，七号呢？那入围的第五队序号八号。入围第六队序号九号，那入围第七队序号十号，然后入围第八队序号十六号，入围第九队序号十七号，入围第十队序号二十一号。入围第十一队序号二十二号，入围第十二队序号二十四号，入围第十三队序号二十六号，入围第十四队序号二十八号。那入围第十五队序号二十九号，入围第十六队序号三十号，那入围最后一队十七队的入围三十一号。好，以上就是入围十七队的队伍，谢谢。